What is up guys, welcome to your 73rd C++ tutorial and in this tutorial you will be happy to know we are covering the last string functions. So after this uh, tutorial no more string functions for a while so I bet you guys are glad about that. So the first thing I'm going to be covering is the string erase function. Now what this function does, it, it erases everything from and including whatever element you tell it to. So let's go ahead and string I'm just gonna make a string called string one and I'll write something like hi my name is Bucky and I love bacon and ham something stupid like that and why not explanation point you know spice things up a bit so let's go ahead and first just print this out on the screen so we have something to compare it to after we change it later on so now what I wanna do is I wanna let's say I wanna erase let's see I want to erase everything from the 20th character on. So it's going to be like somewhere around here. And say this is the 20th character right here. I want to erase everything from here to the end of the string. Well, we need to use something called the erase function. And it's probably already in there, right there, erase. And it takes one parameter. What character do you want to begin erasing that, erasing it? And remember, it includes the 20th character as well so it doesn't start at 21 it actually erases the 20th character as well so now let's go ahead and print out the new and improved erased string and we'll go ahead and run it and see what it looks like so the original string is hi my name is Bucky and I love bacon and ham and the new string is hi my name is Bucky and it erased everything from here on out so that's all the erase function does so now um, aside from the erase function, I guess we can go ahead and keep this and this and this. The only line of code that's going to change in this tutorial is this. So now that we know what the erase function does, I want to talk to you guys about another function and that's the replace function. So press S1, replace, this function is already filling in for me. Alright, the replace function takes three parameters. The first parameter it takes is what character do you want to begin replacing it? And Bucky, I already know, is the 14th character since this was the 20th character right here. So this B is the 14th index. The next parameter, so let's go ahead and put 14 in there right now before I forget. The next parameter it takes is how many characters do you want to replace? So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Bucky is five characters long, so we want to, if we want to erase this entire thing or in other words replace it we're gonna start at the 14th character and replace five characters so that's gonna replace the entire word Bucky so the third parameter it takes is what do you want to replace it with so now that we have Bucky replaced I think it would be only appropriate to you know add a new name like um I was just gonna add it right there that'd be way too easy like Samuel Jackson and I spelled that wrong but it doesn't really matter so you don't have to replace it with the same number of characters you're pretty much saying alright what do you want to replace and what do you want to replace it with so if we go ahead and run this we can see that the original string was hi my name is Bucky and I love bacon and ham and now the new string took Bucky out and added Samuel Jackson so it says hi my name is Samuel Jackson I love bacon and ham and he probably does so what replace does is basically takes a certain bit out of the string and replaces it with something else. Easy enough. So now I want to talk to you guys about one last string function and that's insert. Now what insert does is it inserts a substring into the string but it doesn't take anything out like it did Bucky before. So if we wanted to change the string to hi my name is Lucky Bucky and I love bacon and ham we don't want to take anything out we just want to insert something right after is. So what we do is put S1, that's the string we're working with, the function is called insert, right like that, and it takes two parameters. The first parameter it takes is where do you want to begin inserting it? Well we already know 14 is the beginning of Bucky, and the next parameter it takes is what string do you want to put right there? What substring do you want to add into the main string? And just go ahead and press lucky and we'll add a space after lucky so it would be lucky space bucky. If we didn't add the space it would be like lucky bucky one big word but I want my name is lucky bucky. So I'm going to begin at index number four and I want to insert the word lucky with a space after it. So don't forget your semicolon and whenever you run this you can see 
the original string hi my name is Bucky and now we inserted Lucky so the new string is hi my name is Lucky Bucky and I love bacon and ham so that is how you insert words you know into a string and one other thing I forgot to mention let's see if I can go ahead and uh, ZZ replace just like that usually people use replace whenever they they usually use it in conjunction with find so remember in the last tutorial I told you about find how you can find like all the AMs in a string I think that was the example I showed you guys people typically loop through your entire document and find all instances of something and use this replace function to replace it with this for example here's a great example if you ever use Microsoft Word and it saw that you know you did your whole homework assignment and you saw you spelled the word dictionary with a K <laughs> and you typed it like 18 times well whenever you right click it and spell check it it says replace all this is how they made it it just loops through finds all the time you type dictionary with the word K and replaces it with the proper spelling of dictionary which of course doesn't have a K in it so if you're ever wondering how Microsoft uh, coded that find and replace these are the methods they use to do it so if you think you know uh, you know Microsoft is a bunch of genius programmers and they program in ways that you can never even learn well that's one of the techniques we already learned that we just you know learn the concept of it instead of applying it in a main program but all they did is they used find they looped through your entire document found all the instances and each time they found it they called this replace and replaced it with a proper string so there you go there's a you know nice little example of when this would be useful in real life so with that being said that's all the sh well I don't want to say <laughs> that's all the string functions there are probably like 200 string functions but those are all the main ones that I want to cover now that we covered all the main string functions whenever you're programming games and documents and applications later on and we come across you know a string function we don't have to look up what it means again there are a bunch of different other string functions but these are the main ones that you're going to come across in your programming so that being said take, take a deep breath and we only got a couple more topics to cover so I am ready for it and to be honest I'm getting kinda of tired to learn C++ I'm ready to move on to game development with C++ and 3D modeling with C++ and the fun stuff but hey we gotta cover the boring stuff before we get to the fun stuff those are the rules of life so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for sticking with me for what was it like 73 tutorials already uh... I had super fun I had super you know I'm just gonna quit talking right now before I mess up anything else but anyways thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video